Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. And in this video today, I want to give you a quick tip on how you can create new tasks in your Asana account using your Apple Watch. Now, creating tasks from your iPhone or Android device is easy because you've got the Asana app available. And uh, being an iOS user, I can say that using Siri, it's very easy to quickly just say, hey, assistant, add a task to my Asana and you can add a task, you know, wearing your headphones and it's really easy. But there is no Asana app for the Apple Watch. So if you are out and about and you've got your phone in a bag somewhere, not easily accessible, you can use your watch to do this. Using Apple shortcuts, I've developed a shortcut that's very simple uh, that you can use to easily create an Asana task from your Apple Watch. So if you're out and about, you can easily still create an Asana task wherever you are. If you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like more one-on-one -on -one help with Asana, setting up your account, onboarding and training your team, or even automating parts of your project management workflow, then please feel free to use the link in the description below to learn more about my Asana consulting options. So here I am on my iPhone. Now, to give you a quick demo of how I can use Siri to create a task on my phone, all I need to say are the magic words, hey, assistant, or I can hold the side button and I can just say the command, create a task in Asana. What do you want to be reminded about? Buy stamps. One sec. So there we go. Siri is going to create that task. And I there we go. I should see a notification at the top, buy stamps. And there is my task ready to go. So that's great. But as I mentioned in the intro, Asana doesn't yet have an integration with the Apple Watch. So if I have my phone tucked away in a bag somewhere, I don't have it easily accessible, I could still create a task using my Apple Watch using the Shortcuts app. Now, Shortcuts is an app by Apple, which is a really great way of automating little workflows. So if you've never used Shortcuts before, this will actually be a really nice introduction for you. So here's an example of the workflow that I've created. I'm actually going to exit out of there and create a new one just so I can talk through the steps. So in shortcuts, I'm going to start by clicking the plus button. And I'm going to start a new shortcut with the name Asana task. Then I'm going to add an action. Now, the first thing I need to do is ask for input because I need to insert the name of the task. So an input can be, we can have the shortcuts ask for text, a number, a URL, a date. I want to just put in the name of my task. So I'm going to leave it as text. And the prompt, this is what's going to, what it's going to say on the screen. I'm just going to say here, task name. The next thing I need to do is ask for an input again. So ask for input. This time I'm going to choose a date field and the prompt I'm going to set as due date. So I've, I've, the workflow is going to start. It's going to ask me the name of my task. Then it's going to progress to the second step, which is to ask for the date that I want my task to be due. Once I've collected those two bits of information, that can then be fed into Asana. So if I search for Asana here, I can choose the create task step. Now, as long as I have the Asana app on my iPhone and I have shortcuts downloaded, I'll be able to input this step into my workflow. So the task name, now this is where what I need to do is put the output from the first step as the variable in this third step. So I'm gonna select a variable and I'm gonna choose the provided input the one from the end of the first step. And I'm just going to change this in the variable name to just task name. This is just the name of the variable in the system. So everything kind of makes sense. Then for the due date, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to choose select variable, but I'm going to choose the provided input after the due date. So there we go, done. And I'm going to rename that one as well to due date. Now I could leave it there, but what I'm going to do is just add in one final step, which is to add a notification. So I can have a notification uh, appear in on my phone or on my watch, and I'm going to choose the variable again, task name added to Asana. So let's make that a small a. There we go. So now I can run and test this on my phone. Uh, actually, let's let's give it a quick test. So let's do let's click the play button. It's going to ask for the input. So task name. This is a test. Click done. It's going to move to the next step. What is the date? It's going to default to today's date. I'll just click done. 
it's then gonna create that task. Now, the first time I run this, I have to give the Shortcuts app permission to access Asana. So I'm gonna click Allow. So the, uh, the um, task gets created. And then, and then finally, my notification will show up again, because this is, this is the first time using Shortcuts on this new phone, um, then I have to click Allow. And so that's it running on the iPhone. Now to get this onto my Apple Watch, if I click on the menu options in the top right, I can choose the show on Apple Watch. I can enable that option. And so I'm gonna to switch to my Apple Watch now and I'll show you the same workflow in action. So here I am on my Apple Watch. Now, if I go to my apps and then shortcuts, you can see all the shortcuts that I've added to my Apple Watch, including the Asana task one. Now let's just cancel that. What I've actually done to make this even more convenient is I've added a complication down here to my home screen. So I can just tap on that. And again, it's just a quick way of getting access to all my shortcuts. So let's try the Asana task shortcut. This is a test. Now click done. I can change my date. I'll just click done. And there we go. That has added the task to my Asana task list. And so there you go. That's a little look at how you can set up a very simple workflow for creating Asana tasks from your Apple Watch. And if you are a shortcuts user like me, maybe you even want to add this Asana task action to other shortcuts that you are using. Now, it's, this isn't something that I use a lot of the time. I mean, most of the time I'm using Asana on my computer, or if I am away from my computer, I'll probably create a task using my iPhone. But once or twice, I won't have my iPhone near me and I'm just simply too lazy to go and find it, but I've got my watch and I just think it's a bit of fun. It's pretty cool to be able to just create a task right there on my wrist. So have some fun with that shortcut. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. If you'd like to get more out of Asana and need help setting up or optimizing your account, if you want to automate more of your project management process and you want to correctly train and onboard your team, then check out my Master Asana program. When you sign up, you'll be able to join twice weekly group calls so you can get help from me and get your questions answered anytime you need support. You can also book private one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions with me where we can take a deep dive into your account. I can show you key features and I I can even do group training workshops as well. And finally, you'll get access to my online course, which goes into a lot more depth and detail and covers topics that I don't cover on YouTube. So if you truly want to master Asana, then sign up today and I'll see you on the inside.